Have you ever wondered about the secrets hidden deep within the Grand Canyon's vast expanses? This natural wonder, with its stratified layers of red rock, is often referred to as the basement of history. It's a geological mosaic that tells the tale of Earth's formative epochs, each layer capturing a unique chapter of our planet's past. Recently, a team of experts embarked on an exploration into this historic landmark's depths. They sought to unravel the Grand Canyon's mysteries and, in doing so, stumbled upon findings that promised to revolutionize our understanding of this immense geological formation. These discoveries, nestled within the canyon's ancient layers, have far-reaching implications that fascinate and terrify in equal measure. Imagine being able to time travel, to journey back hundreds of millions of years to a time when life on Earth was vastly different from what we know today. That's precisely the opportunity these recent explorations offer us. They provide a rare glimpse into the prehistoric world, a world that is as alien to us as the furthest reaches of outer space. The journey into the Grand Canyon secrets began with an unexpected discovery. A fallen rock, upon closer examination, revealed markings that bore the semblance of footprints. These were not just any footprints, but silent testimonies of the canyon's ancient inhabitants, fossilized over hundreds of millions of years. This revelation pushed the boundaries of our understanding of prehistoric life. It suggested the presence of amniotes, hard-shelled egg-laying animals, in an era far preceding our previous estimates. It's a discovery that not only highlights the diversity of life forms that once roamed the dunes of what is now the Grand Canyon, but also offers unparalleled insights into the evolutionary adaptations of early vertebrates. Now, let's delve into the exciting journey of these discoveries, piecing together the narrative of a land that has much to reveal. Join us as we journey through time and discovery, exploring the depths of the Grand Canyon, Imagine walking down a trail and stumbling upon a fallen rock that would change our understanding of prehistoric life. This is precisely the experience of geologist Alan Krill as he navigated the Bright Angel Trail. A chance encounter with a fallen rock from a towering cliff led to a discovery that would rewrite the chapters of our planet's ancient history. The rock bore markings, not just any markings, but footprints echoes of the canyon's ancient inhabitants. Krill, quick to recognize the importance of his find, photographed the imprints and shared them with a fellow specialist in the field. Paleontologist Stephen Rowland of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Rowland's analysis confirmed the staggering significance of Krill's discovery. The imprints were fossilized tracks, estimated to be a staggering 313 million years old. They were the oldest vertebrate footprints ever discovered in the Grand Canyon. This revelation pushed the boundaries of our understanding of prehistoric life. It suggested the presence of amniotes, hard-shelled egg-laying animals, in an era far preceding our previous estimates. These ancient residents of the Grand Canyon left behind an invaluable record of their existence, preserved in the monocline of the Kaibab Formation. On closer examination, the fossils revealed even more. There were two sets of tracks, crossing the sandstone in a diagonal pattern indicative of a lateral sequence gate. This method of locomotion, where an animal moves in a coordinated pattern of left rear and front feet, followed by the right rear and front feet, offers unparalleled insights into the evolutionary adaptations of early vertebrates. These ancient imprints push the boundaries of our understanding of life forms that once roamed the dunes of what is now the Grand Canyon. More than just footprints, they serve as a testament to the diversity of life and the rich tapestry of evolutionary history that has shaped the world as we know it today. What can these ancient footprints tell us about the creatures who left them behind? Let's delve deeper into the fossilized tracks discovered in the Grand Canyon and see what they reveal about the early vertebrates that once roamed this majestic landscape. These fossils, remarkably preserved in the monocline of the Kaibab Formation, offer us an unprecedented glimpse into the past. The Kaibab Formation, a layer of limestone that caps the uppermost rim of the Grand Canyon, is known for its durability and resistance to erosion. 
The fossil's survival in this robust material is a testament to the unique conditions that prevailed millions of years ago, allowing these biological signatures to endure the relentless march of time. But what's truly fascinating are the details the fossils reveal. Upon closer examination, the tracks suggest a specific pattern of movement, one that's indicative of a lateral sequence gait. This type of locomotion involves an animal moving in a coordinated pattern, where the left rear and front feet move, followed by the right rear and front feet. It's a method of movement that's common among many four-legged creatures today, from cats and dogs to elephants and horses. This discovery of a lateral sequence gait in such ancient fossils suggests that early vertebrates had already developed sophisticated locomotive strategies to navigate their environment. It speaks to the adaptability and versatility of these creatures, qualities that were key to their survival in a world vastly different from ours. It also highlights the diversity of life forms that once inhabited our planet, long before humans ever set foot on it. These footprints, etched into the sandstone of the Grand Canyon, are more than just ancient imprints. They are a narrative, a story of survival and adaptation a testament to the enduring legacy of life on Earth. They provide invaluable insights into the locomotive strategies employed by prehistoric animals to navigate their environment and offer a window into the world as it was over 300 million years ago. The footprints serve as a humbling reminder of our planet's incredible history and the myriad life forms that have called it home. They underscore the richness and diversity of life on Earth and the complex processes of evolution that have shaped the world we know today. These footprints offer invaluable insights into the locomotive strategies employed by prehistoric animals to navigate their environment. The implications of these findings are vast and challenge preconceived notions about vertebrate evolution. As we delve deeper into these remarkable discoveries, we're compelled to reevaluate our understanding of the timeline of vertebrate evolution and habitat occupation. The presence of these ancient footprints, embedded in the resilient sandstone of the Kaibab Formation, shatters previously held assumptions. It points to the fact that hard-shelled, egg-laying animals, known as amniotes, might have roamed the Earth far earlier than we initially believed. This revelation is not just a testament to the Grand Canyon's rich history. It's an invitation to rewrite a chapter of the Earth's evolutionary tale. The fact that these footprints have survived over 300 million years in such pristine condition underscores the unique and ideal conditions that prevailed in the canyon, facilitating the preservation of such ancient biological signatures. But the implications don't stop there. The discovery of a lateral sequence gate, revealed through the diagonal pattern of these footprints, provides invaluable insights into the locomotive strategies employed by these early tetrapods. It's an evolutionary adaptation that speaks volumes about the survival instincts of these prehistoric creatures, shedding light on how they navigated the challenging terrains of their environments. This groundbreaking discovery has set the scientific world abuzz, sparking a renewed interest in the study of ancient ecosystems. The possibility that these tracks were made by two different animals, or perhaps the same animal at varying speeds, opens up a realm of unexplored areas. It's a tantalizing prospect that promises to enrich our understanding of the behavioral patterns and ecological dynamics that characterize the prehistoric world. These ancient tracks are not just imprints of a bygone era. They're a gateway into a world that existed hundreds of millions of years ago, offering us a glimpse into the life and times of our ancient predecessors. As we continue to unearth the secrets of the Grand Canyon, we are reminded of the incredible journey of life on Earth, a journey that has been unfolding for billions of years. These ancient tracks open up new avenues for exploration into the world of our ancient predecessors. But these findings at the Grand Canyon go beyond mere academic interest. They are a profound reminder of the planet's deep history, the eons of time that have passed, and the mysteries that lie beneath the surface of our everyday world. These footprints, etched into the sandstone, are a testament to the creatures that existed millions of years ago, in an era beyond human comprehension. 
They hint at the vast tapestry of life that once unfolded in the dunes of what is now the Grand Canyon, where creatures roamed, lived, and left their indelible mark. The footprints tell a story, not just of the creatures that made them, but of the world they inhabited. A world that was different, yet in many ways, fundamentally the same as ours. They give us a glimpse into the past, into a time when the Grand Canyon was not a canyon at all, but a vast landscape filled with life. The footprints also remind us of the enduring power of nature, its ability to preserve, to hold on to its history, and to reveal it to us in the most unexpected ways. Each layer of the Grand Canyon is a page in Earth's diary, a snapshot of a particular moment in time, preserved for eternity. The footprints add another layer to this story, another chapter in the history of our planet. These discoveries challenge us, intrigue us, and inspire us to look closer, to delve deeper, to uncover the hidden stories that lie beneath our feet. They encourage us to question, to explore, to seek out the unknown. They remind us that there is always more to discover, more to learn, more to understand. And so, the Grand Canyon continues to be a site of discovery, its secrets offering an enchanting glimpse into the ancient world. It stands as a monument to the past, a testament to the power of time and the enduring legacy of the creatures that once roamed its lands. The Grand Canyon continues to be a site of discovery, its secrets offering an enchanting glimpse into the ancient world. So, what have we learned from this journey into the depths of the Grand Canyon? We've traversed through layers of time, unearthing the stories etched within the stratified red rocks of this geological mosaic. Our exploration commenced with an unexpected discovery by geologist Alan Krill, who stumbled upon an intriguing set of markings. These markings turned out to be fossilized tracks, a silent testament to the canyon's ancient inhabitants. A detailed examination by paleontologist Stefan Roland revealed these imprints to be the oldest vertebrata footprints ever discovered in the Grand Canyon, estimated to be a staggering 313 million years old. This remarkable revelation pushes the boundaries of our understanding of prehistoric life, suggesting the presence of amniotes, hard-shelled egg-laying animals, in an era far preceding our previous estimates. Preserved in the Kaibab Formation, these fossils provide a window into the behaviors and movements of these ancient creatures. The footprints, crossing the sandstone in a diagonal pattern, are indicative of a lateral sequence gait, a method of locomotion where an animal moves in a coordinated pattern of left rear and front feet, followed by the right rear and front feet. This discovery offers unparalleled insights into the evolutionary adaptations of early vertebrates. The implications of these findings are profound, challenging our preconceived notions about the timeline of vertebrate evolution and habitat occupation. Furthermore, the preservation of these footprints in sandstone underscores the unique conditions that facilitated the survival of such ancient biological signatures. The distinct possibility that these tracks were made by two different animals, or perhaps the same animal at varying speeds opens up new avenues for exploration into the behavioral patterns and ecological dynamics of ancient ecosystems. As we continue to explore, the Grand Canyon stands as a testament to the Earth's formative epochs, its red rocks narrating the tales of time long past. The findings at the Grand Canyon remind us of the planet's deep history and its continuous evolution, forever etched within the depths of the Grand Canyon.